These daring missions pierced Soviet airspace from bases in Germany, Turkey, and later Pakistan. For the first time, the U.S. could take crystal-clear photographs of Soviet bomber bases, missile sites, and nuclear test facilities. One of the U-2's greatest early successes came in 1956 when it captured images of the Myasishchev M4 Bison bomber. Western intelligence had feared that the Soviets possessed hundreds of these long-range bombers capable of striking the U.S. homeland. U-2 photos revealed the truth. The Soviets had only a handful, easing fears of a bomber gap. By 1957, the U-2 was photographing Soviet intercontinental ballistic missile sites. This helped the U.S. understand that, while the Soviets were dangerous, they did not yet have the overwhelming nuclear superiority some had feared. The U-2 was designed to fly at an altitude that Soviet fighters and missiles could not reach.